I just wanted to to make a very quick journey to I mean through the I would say last five years of uh, where we came from and where we are now and how is all this mobility is related to the digitalization because that's the topic of the conference also. So if we took like five years ago, we had three let's say separate tools in the university. We had the tool for mobility and the mobility at least in our case and I think in most cases was counted only if you were in another country, in another university, you got 15 credit points there and you brought them back to your university. That was counted as a mobility. Then we had another tool that is, of course, more than five years old, but we had the joint curricula. And the joint curricula, uh, the aim was that you finally get the joint degree or at least double degree from different universities. And there are a special group of students participating in joint curricula, so studying in different universities. And they were not the mobile students, they were the joint curricula students. And then we had, of course, uh, initiative for supporting e-learning or web-based learning that was in order to support our local students or to uh, to to provide lifelong learning to the to the people working and these two strands or two activity or three activities didn't sort of too much merge to each other with the four things or three things happening in between the european commission is the aim of 50 percent of students to be mobile within the university alliances with the covid in between and with the fact that uh, we have this aim to be sustainable, to, to survive in, in 50 years time. So all these changes during last five years have brought us here today that we are thinking, I mean, how to put these three tools together and to create new ways of mobilities and to how to count it and what does it mean and whether what are the aims then? If we, if we say in our university alliance network, but is in light, uh, including currently nine universities, we are talking about the stepping stone in each curricula. So you would start with the, that is also could be called a mobility that uh, international, I mean, somebody from another university, a teacher would come and give you a lecture. So that would be called a first step on the mobility. Then you would have a virtual course in another university, studying still physically in your own university, but taking a course virtually provided by another university. And then maybe you go to the uh, third step, that is a blended intensive program, where you have the virtual course, plus one week mobility, physical mobility in another university. And then maybe some of the students also go to the fourth step, which is a semester or a, or a few, few months in another university.